and he had tons of photo reference from the area, and so we talked about it, and I was like, well, it's right in front of me, it takes place there. And he just said he wanted there to be a midget in the <laughs> and, uh, and, um, and so, you know, we did a story about that, and it became, and it was a crime story, and it was, and at the time in my area, where I lived in Berkeley, there was a famous story about this girl who was on missing while jogging, and her boyfriend was convicted of murdering her, and coming back to have sex with her dead body. It was a fairly famous story in the early 90s, early 80s in Berkeley, and there is not 100% sure what really happened, but they did eventually find her body, and the guy confessed, but it was like a confession was popped out because the police held him for like 72 hours of questioning. It was like a really complex story, but it, that was kind of one of the inspirations for that was uh, just having had this thing happen. I was thinking about it a lot, and I was reading a lot of true crime and stuff, so I just thought, well, I can write a crime story, and then Eric can draw it, and then we did that, and got nominated for a couple Eisner Awards at the time. Back then, they, they did the Eisner Awards at like 2 in the afternoon, and right. like a panel of them, and, you know. Yeah, that was so early 90s. Early 90s, 90s right? Yeah, like, mm, yeah, 90s, 91, something like that. So yeah, we got nominated for some awards for that, and then that got me in the door at Vertigo, because we established and then there to draw mm. and And uh, now, Obviously, like the, the, the noir and the, uh, the noir was the clear from then. You were you were artist or geared towards that kind of naturally. Yeah, I mean, I'm not. I mean, it's not like seeing them like I'm not kind of I'm not big fan of that. Right. right. Um, but visually, I like them. And because I'm enjoying. Yeah. I mean, yeah. yeah. I was just going like that. Kind of need to watch. No, I do. 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 <laughs> I thought it started changing because I started going over there. Right. It's bigger than over there. Yeah. Um, and that started to matter. Soon as the dark was carrying a black one. Yeah, uh, I think, I guess that's why I'm not. I'm sort of, because it's just called that, I'm sort of a book of Oh, yeah. And that sort of, like, my art was going in one direction. It got very smooth and brushy and clean and it wasn't right. And then I started going over there and I started doing it in that same style. Yeah. I took the first explain to them again. Right. What's more, more mature style. Right? Yeah. It took years to figure out how to draw black and white because when I started doing like subjects as I did, it was all painted artwork. Right. I was quite plain, but I didn't know what kind of black and white style. The only black and white style I had was how I used to draw the Judy comics. <laughs> so that didn't really suit um, how they draw. Oh, okay. Oh, 
that's right. That's why I've got the Because I've got no, I can't do a wildcat because of money. Yeah. 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 Yeah
And, um, but yeah, so before Point Blank was even published, like Sean had done like character sketches because we knew Bolton was going to be in the last picture of Point Blank. So Sean had done like a character, which, is, which he never does. So we needed him because someone else was going to draw it and Sean was going to be the creator of the character. So, you know, so, yeah. And so did he. So when you when you did Marvel Zombie, when was that in terms of? Uh, that would have been off the oh, before. Yeah, it was just been our little break for between uh, Secret and Criminal. Again, like I said before, I couldn't pick and choose what I got to do. The Secret on its course, uh, but it could be success, we say. Um, it did well. I mean, yeah, it's not quite a big issue. Is it? I don't know. <laughs> no, I don't think so. I don't know. I mean, maybe. Um, anyway, so yeah, yeah. that was the thing you really liked. And then I sort of like. <laughs> Around the top here, just doing what came along, and um, I'm meeting a lot of people turned down Marvel Zombies, including Robert Kirkland, but he turned that down. Robert turned down Marvel Zombies originally? <laughs> <laughs> no, he got to play on to do it in the end. Yeah. There's loads of people sort of um, drop um, up with that, and it's like a spin off with a terrible knock on the comic, and I've made it work. I've dropped on a couple of um, pages for um, 20 days later. And Not a thing. 